welcome back. You know, being a man is about standing up for yourself. It's about fighting for what you believe is right, especially when it involves midget porn. Several months ago, I ordered a jack flick called Sexual Experiences with Midgets. I rush ordered it to my house only to find this movie contained one solitary midget in one scene. I mean, were they trying to count the kind of short girl with the big head as a midget? I contacted the company for a refund and an explanation and I was met with dead silence. I wrote a series of letters, made call after call to politicians and consumer advocates, but no one had the guts to stand up to this country's dastardly midget porn cartel. So I had no choice but hit the streets and do my own investigation. I started at a place they pride themselves on looking out for the little guy. The Better Business Bureau. Not long ago, I ordered a pornographic film. Title of the film, Sexual Experiences with Midgets. The first scene had a male midget finished in an inordinate amount of time. The second segment was a girl of slight in stature, but she wasn't a midget. Came to the Better Business Bureau, pants at my ankles, credit card receipt in my hand, shut the door in my face. That, that I don't think I can help you with it. It sounds like you're passing the buck a lot here. Other people, more informed people, might say that the Better Business Bureau themselves is deep in the pocket of the midget porn industry. No, I don't believe so. I think some of your complaints, though, are just, you know, they're outside of the uh, mainstream of what most people are used to dealing with. Gary, are you going to look me in the eye right now and tell me that you have never sat down in the privacy and comfort of your own home in front of the widescreen TV with midget porn in the VCR and masturbated naked? Naked, spinning clockwise, like kind of like Curly from the Three Stooges, where you're trying to chase your own penis with your mouth, leaving crop circles in the carpet. Are you going to tell me that's never happened? Doug, this interview. You can't just walk away from this, Gary. There's more than just me out there watching this stuff. We needed a porn industry insider who would be a man and wasn't afraid to talk. Now we're calling in the big guns, top of the food chain, the king of porn himself, Larry Flint. Well, uh, first of all, I would say you got ripped off. Yes, I did. You should have bought a hustler video, because when we use midgets, we always make sure there's at least two. See, that's quality. That's quality control. It's a businessman who cares about his product, just for our right to blow a nut to a decent magazine. And I'd like to ask if I could smell your fingers. I just came from the studio today. Today, I am a man. <laughs> After smelling Larry Flint's fingers, I knew exactly what I needed to do next. So I went to a doctor and got treated for nose herpes. Then I went back to the quest for midget porn justice with a visit to the former mayor of Santa Monica, Michael Feinstein. Why is it that no consumer advocacy group no government branch is willing to help me find recourse on what was an obvious burn in midget-related porn. Mm. Do you think you'd care more about midgets if they had the right to vote? Personally, I think maybe we're better off that they can't vote. Anyway, I felt it was time to get a little person's perspective on this, so I sat down for an interview with major midget porn star Bridget the Midget. If a movie is going to represent itself as having midgets, plural, it should have at least two midgets, don't you think? I would have. Then let so. me ask you this, Bridget. You did a movie called Double Midgetation. Yeah. It says on the box, a crash landing on Earth of a spaceship yeah. with two midgets. Yeah. Bridget, look me in the eye and tell me how many midgets were in that movie. I played two characters. You roles. played two midgets, but there was only one midget. Come on, like in the porn, you know. And Peach Bush! And Peach Bush! And Peach Bush! And Peach Bush! I'm going straight to the top. It's time someone did something about it. I don't know what these people are all about, but I'm sure it's related. Wherever there is injustice in the porn industry, you can count on me, Doug Stanhope, to be there to fight for you when you're too ashamed to do it yourself. Doug, you are truly the Rosa Parks of midget porn. Thank you very much. Stick around. There's more Man Show right around the corner.